Anti-aging therapies, procedures, and products are trending, but that doesn't mean everything works or is worth the money. Dr. Shin Ichiro Amai at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis is investigating an aging intervention treatment based on a natural compound called NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide. Years ago, Dr. Amai was first to prove the success of NMN in mice as it worked safely to slow down signs of aging as well as boost energy and rejuvenate metabolism. There are a, a wide variety of anti-aging effects on tissue functions. And we need to figure out how many and how much can be really translated to humans. Having a lab focused on basic mechanics of aging and longevity, Amai is a leader in NMN research. Okay. NMN is remarkable because it really increased you know, this essential compound NAD, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. And this compound NAD is required to maintain our energy and our metabolism. Regulating NAD is very important to activate these enzymes, sirtuins, and the sirtuins absolutely require this compound NAD for their enzymatic activities and then regulate a metabolism and eventually the process of aging and longevity. MI wants to determine whether an NMN nutraceutical tablet may one day offer a range of health benefits to the aging population. MI cautions many NMN products on the market may not be safe and effective. However, MI says there is one worth investigating. This company originally contacted me back in 2008, and my lab and this company uh, uh, started collaborating together to develop uh, the methodology to make a high quality NMN. Our lab also tested the quality and efficacy of this particular NMN in mouse models. Amai won't name the company because he cannot endorse a company or product, but he is putting the product to the test through clinical trials. Getting uh, NMN. In order to investigate safety and efficacy in humans, Amai teamed up with Dr. Samuel Klein, director of the Center for Human Nutrition at the School of Medicine. We received NMN uh, kindly from a company in Japan that we know makes a very pure form of this product. And so we know that there is very few little impurities and it's really a pure NMN form and it's of the highest quality of NMN. This is the same NMN that Dr. Shinimaya has used in rodent models, demonstrating profound benefits in terms of therapeutic effects on health, longevity, and multiple organ system function. But it has never been tested in humans uh, before this trial. The team created a small human clinical trial with 25 postmenopausal women who had prediabetes. In this study, we particularly selected participants who are postmenopausal women with prediabetes because studies in rodents have shown that female mice have a better response to NMN therapy than do male mice. In addition, people with prediabetes have some significant metabolic abnormalities that could potentially be ameliorated by treatment with NMN as shown in rodent models. And so this particular group we thought was ideal to test the potential metabolic benefits of NMN therapy in the first randomized clinical trial in people. This was a double-blind randomized controlled trial in which the participants received either placebo therapy or 250 milligrams of NMN daily for 10 weeks and were studied before and after the intervention. From the study, they discovered NMN improves muscle glucose metabolism. Improved insulin sensitivity in muscle in our participants. And what that means is that improved the ability of insulin to stimulate glucose uptake in muscle tissue. A defect in insulin action in muscle is an important metabolic complication that's associated with obesity that's involved in causing prediabetes and type 2 diabetes. Klein says it's encouraging how NMN improves the ability of insulin to increase glucose uptake in skeletal muscles. The ability of muscle to respond to insulin by enhancing its glucose uptake uh, could improve glycemic control meaning improving the control of blood sugar in the body. This is one early study, and so these early findings support that potential concept of NMN improving blood glucose control, 
but we really need more and more definitive studies in the future to fully evaluate this potential. Ongoing research exploring anti-aging benefits of NMN is now supported by a $3.8 million grant from the U.S. Department of Defense. Dr. Amai says the team has increased the NMN dosage and duration for a second clinical trial of 60 people, 30 men and 30 women between the ages of 50 and 75. It's a little bit higher dose and a li little bit longer duration. What happens to people? And that's exactly what we are now assessing in the second clinical study. Amai says the findings from the first clinical trial give him reason to believe that NMN may one day offer clinical benefits to boost what he calls productive aging. If our second clinical trial suggests like a more um, beneficial effects of NMN in humans, then um, maybe uh, it might be an interesting idea to take NMN for a longer time and see what happens to our metabolism, and particularly in uh, old individuals. The idea is to increase quality of life as people get older by providing aging intervention. We cannot make any clinical recommendations for people. And so this is like many things. We really need more studies in human subjects to identify the potential of NMN as a therapeutic agent uh, both in improving health, energy, metabolic function, and longevity, uh, and time will tell.